All right, so we have the Symmetra power array here, and uh, it, it indicated a fault with a bad battery, and I removed the battery here already. So uh, we have the module here, bad battery module. So what we're going to do is open this up and put the new batteries inside of it. Um, the uh, company here, this Refurb UPS, they sent me a diagram on how it should be wired up here. You can see that. But it uh, doesn't look too hard. I've, I've done this before. It saves a little bit of money. The only thing you have to worry about is some of these, when they overheat, they expand this plastic up so you can't get it back into the slot um, like this one. I don't know if you can see it very good, but see how it's raised up? And it has such close tolerances, uh, you can't get it out. You can see these these batteries. This needs a new case, but you can see these batteries, how they uh, bulged up on the top. So uh, this one I can't even use anymore. But uh, this one looks all right. This one looks, still looks flat. So I'm going to take the batteries out of here. Um, it had a... The other nice thing to do here is usually put like some kind of sticker on here saying when you replace the batteries so you know how old they are. Uh, this one has a date sticker from 2010 so the batteries are about you know four years old so I'm going to uh, unscrew this and start the process. Okay. I have all the, the screws out of here so the only other two you have to unscrew is these top two. You have to be careful because there's a spring in here and I think it has to do with this uh, adjusting part. So you'll have to unscrew these to take the shell off. Um, the other ones I have don't have this but somebody I guess remanufactured this and put the warranty sticker. So I'm going to take that off. The easiest way to uh, replace this battery is basically uh, one at a time. So I re replaced this one and uh, just go to down the line here, replace them. So this is my next one. Pull this one out gently. And these tabs can be a little bit tricky to pull on uh, to get out, so you just have to be uh, gentle and tug on them a little bit. Uh, actual little tabs here. Um, if you put them on, if you pull the plastic back, they go on a lot easier and off because there's like a little button in there that'll, uh, it's like a release. So, you pull that back and it just snaps on. Then they're on, pull that back and it'll come off real easy. So you're not killing it. Just a little simple trick to get these off because it has this little locking tab inside there. I have all the batteries in here now. Installed uh, these two springs they're not connected to anything, but I had to put those back in. And then it has this other uh, little tension spring here. So basically put the clamshell uh, back together here. And uh, we'll screw it down. And then it'll be ready to be installed again here. So. And we'll screw this back in. This is a little bit of a bear to get these uh, lined up here. screw in all the other screws and then you're ready to go. Um, I would recommend though if you have a case where the batteries expanded like this and uh, really mushroom the top like this uh, it will it'll go back in but you'll be you'll have a heck of a time getting it back out when you change the batteries again so I would recommend you uh, purchase a new clamshell here. Um, they're not terribly expensive. This system is uh, got a little age to it, um, but you know it works. So there you go. That's how you 
replace the batteries in a Symmetra.